Plaintiff Gloria Calhoun Lewis says the defendant is her daughter, and she says their relationship is so strained that it recently turned violent. Gloria repossessed a vehicle from her daughter because she stopped paying for it. And as Gloria was driving away, her daughter started smashing the windows with a shovel. Gloria is suing for the unpaid car payments and emotional distress. Defendant Brittany Calhoun admits that she doesn't have a good relationship with her mother. And she blames the fact that her mother is controlling. Brittany claims her mother repossessed her car three different times. And she insists she doesn't owe for the car payments because her mother told her that she didn't have to pay. Tell me what happened. Well, first of all, Judge, I'd like to say I'm honored to be in your presence today. My mm -hmm. husband and I, we tape your show every single day, and we just think you're terrific. All right. In Thank fact, you. Uh, we brought you a little souvenir from Pittsburgh. Thank you, Judge. So my husband wanted, wanted oh, to, oh, to meet you. Honored to meet you, Judge Mathis. And we brought this half my wife from the six-time world champion Pittsburgh Steelers to let you know right. we appreciate my, you. My favorite team. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Well, sir, um, I am here suing my daughter today. Um, it pains me to have to come to court to do this, but in the last couple of years, our relationship has kind of deteriorated, and I really don't know why. And it took a turn for the worse back in January. Um, I went to talk to her to find out why she hadn't been returning my calls, why she hadn't been communicating with me, and um, it just really had turned into violence. Um, for the last so? couple, I went there to talk to her, but she thought I was coming to get her car. So it ended up that I ended up taking the car, and because I took the car, she became violent. You took the car, why? Because she hadn't been making the car payments. Okay. She was angry, she threw the keys at me. So when I went to drive the car away, it was covered in snow. I was in the car starting it. She came out with something and started banging on the car. So I couldn't see, so I get out the car. She's got this mug trying to break the windows. So I'm, I'm, she, she runs back towards the porch and grabs a shovel. So she comes towards the car with the shovel and she's telling me, you know, if you're gonna take the car, I'm gonna damage it. So I tackle her, we're rustling in the snow. So I get, I, I, so I'm screaming, I'm like, Tasha, Tasha, her roommate, please call the police, call the police, call the police. So she runs out. She's like, oh my God. So she grabs her, she goes, Miss Chloe, just get in the car and drive away, just drive away. So I jump back in the car. My heart's pounding. I start to drive away. She starts attacking the car with the shovel. So she breaks the windows out. So I couldn't move the car fast enough because it was entrenched in snow. So finally I was able to back down the street because the, all the windows were covered, but the back window was shattered. So I backed all the way down the street and I drove over a couple streets and parked the car. My car was still parked in front of her house. Did the police ever contact her? No, they went to the house right. she was going. Let they me, told me I would have to press okay, charges. Let me allow her to uh, defend herself. Well, I just want to respond to some of that. Ooh. It's correct, me and my mother, we don't have the perfect relationship and... Um, Why do you think? I think it just has a lot to do with our personality. She's very, very controlling and I like to basically just make my own choices. How long has she been that way? All my life, okay. all my life, so... At some point, don't you think she needed to be very controlling? It's, it's not that I don't want her input in my life, but just... It shouldn't have to be her way or nothing else. After 18, I believe you're right. And if, particularly if she's not providing food, shelter, and clothing, I think you're right. She wasn't? She did provide okay. me with a car. Well, I think she should have a lot of input because she's putting up a lot of money. But you should I... say, Mama, don't <laughs> give me a dime. Okay. And I'm grown. I don't want your car. Hey, Mama, I don't need your car. Quit talking to me about this. Here, take your car. Matter well, there, of fact, that's what you were doing when you threw them keys at her, weren't there, you? There, <laughs> there was a point where I did tell her that about maybe a year ago, because my mother's taken my car three times. Defendant Brittany Calhoun is being sued by her mother, who claims their relationship is so strained that it recently turned violent. Give me some examples of her controlling ways. Um, the men that I date, the school that I go to, the job that I work, what, where I choose to live. What has she live. done regarding that? The men that I date? Yes, ma'am. She... My ex-boyfriend, she didn't approve of him. Okay. It's not controlling. That's just expressing no, your opinion. but since I was dating him... Why didn't him, she approve of him? Just curious. Because in her 
to him, he was not a Excuse good person. Okay. Yes. Because he, he was a thug. All right. He was a thug. And he All was right. violent towards her. Was he? There were moments. Okay, good enough. What else? How about school? Maybe the school that I, if not my choices and maybe of not going to school. Full not time going to school, school and maybe working time. also. Gotcha. A way that school. you can become self-sufficient and not have to drive her car all your life. And perhaps that's why you're suing her today about car payments. Yes, sir. In November of 2006, we bought the car in February. The first mm -hmm. car payment was due. It was made clear that if we buy this car, you'll be you'll take over the car pay you'll pay the car payments. So the car payment was 232, but with the car insurance and the OnStar, it was over 300. But I said, just give. How many months did she miss, ma'am? 15 months. <laughs> From 2006 to now. Young lady. Well, you would have to know my mother. 15 months. Any anyone who would give someone a car and they miss 15 months payments? Most of the months she would say. But if she tells me, well, don't pay the payment this month, Brittany, because you have this going on or because you have to pay these bills or buy this, it's okay. Don't try to sue me a year or two later. Young lady, you're a bad child. <laughs> you are a bad child to your parent. You're not the only one that has a rebellious child. I wasn't a good child to my mother uh, until the last few months of her life. But thank God I was able to wake up, and you better wake up before your mother uh, is no longer there for you. So don't feel bad. I mean, just you're part of a club. You're part of a club whose children rebel against them, and they act out in a bad manner toward their parents. I don't know when and if that's going to happen to me. I have four children, and I don't think I'm going to be exempt from that. You know, I'm not going to be standing here crying, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's so just don't I love you. her. Well, when, let her know that and then call it a day. All right? Do you love her? Yes. All right, well, show me some love. Give me a sign. Show me a sign that y'all love each other. Let's see some hugs. Come on. Let's see some hugs. Meet her in the middle. All right, that's love. All right, you still got to pay that money, though, 5000 for the plane. <laughs> I don't want us to have to go through this. I don't want to have to go through this ever again. But I think we need counseling. I think we need something to, to help us to find why we have these issues. I really, I don't want, I really don't want to do this interview right now. I don't want to do this. We recently spoke with plaintiff Gloria Calhoun Lewis, who told us that after their case was heard, her daughter, defendant Brittany Calhoun, didn't speak to her for a month. However, Gloria said that she and Brittany are now in a good place, and Brittany is engaged and has a young son.